motorcycle. The hell is this? It's a motorcycle. Where's the rest of it? So this is a 2017 Rascal 125. Rascal 125. Yeah, made by SSR. Made by SSR. What is this thing MSR at? MSRP. Uh, 1999. 1999. Under two grand, technically. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's so it's it's carbureted. 125. Yeah. So it's similar to the Grom, yeah. except it's carbureted. Right. That's the only difference. And it's got a kick. Yeah. It's got a kickstart. Carbureted. Um, some people say it's a good thing. Some people say it's a bad thing. Uh, well, I mean, carburetor makes it easier to go faster. You've also got the little cow stock. So, and it looks like a baby. Uh, Italian bike. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm Dan. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> I'm even recording right now. I'm doing a video. Yeah. So say what's up to YouTube, dude. Well, hello. Well, hello. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I came here and I was hoping that I would actually see you. Yeah. And you're actually doing a review on whatever this thing is. Have fun. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, fuck me, dude. What's up with these mirrors? It's not working at all. I haven't been on a bike like this since I had my Grom, and this thing feels completely different. I'm trying to, like, adjust the mirrors, and I keep pushing the handlebars. <laughs> you guys looking at me like I'm bananas, dude. Like, what the fuck is this thing? I can actually just stand. I don't even need I, 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 <laughs> I can just stand over this thing. Oh, man. So I had a Grom, right? You guys a lot of you got you guys know that. I had a Grom for several for like what a year before I got rid of it. Come on, man. You can do you got this. Go! Go! Uh, I'm just trying to like accelerate, yeah. <laughs> I've said it before, right? Like Groms aren't really fun bikes unless you have a lot of people to ride with, it seems like. So this is like a, a, a Grom knockoff. It's by S S R R S S R. I don't really know much about it other than it's a it's a carbureted 125. You know, some people like carburetors, some people don't. I think fuel injection on smaller CC motorcycles is really kind of useless, I guess. I mean, it seems highly unnecessary. And even with 250s, it's almost kind of just over the top. And it, it's way more expensive than it needs to be. And I, I struggle getting it into neutral just because it's so new. It's noticeably smaller than a Grom. Like a Grom is actually like almost a regular looking bike if you look at it from the right angle. Maybe I had a mild stretch to it just for shits and giggles. It looks like a real bike. But dude, this thing looks like such a fucking, it looks like such a toy. It looks like it's, you shouldn't be allowed to ride this thing on the road. <laughs> <laughs> does it have an adorable horn? <laughs> it does! It does have the most adorable fucking horn! <laughs> the, the, the stairs I'm getting on this thing. It looks like I'm riding a pit bike. <laughs> and like I'm small too, right? And I still kind of lurch over this thing. I would choose this over a Grom any day. It's about the same speed as a Grom. Like, it's got the same pull. It actually seems to pull quicker from like zero to 30 than a Grom does. But that top end is like pretty hard to get up into. Dude, I would love this platform with a 250 motor in it or a 200cc. <laughs> it's like looking at this bike, you want to be like, where's the rest of it? The, the clutch lets out literally at the very end of it. It needs to be adjusted a little bit. I have an idea. Let's take, let's take it up red top because I want to see if it'll make it up red top. Hey, Ape and Phil, come and look at this tiny bike. <gasps> a dog! Here's the thing, man. While these little these little mini bikes, like the Grom... Oh, what is this thing? It's called like a, a, a Ruckus or something like that? A road killer? It smells just like a Grom. Like a Grom... My Grom had a very specific smell to it, right? This thing smells just like it. I feel like such a gangster on this thing. Why aren't they letting vehicles up there? I want to go up to the top. What are you doing? Can oh, my God! Get off your phone, you stupid lady! It's like super busy, and I just don't wanna. I don't wanna bother people. I mean, I took the boost up there, which was you know straight piped. But this thing's basically like a sleeper cell, man. It's got no engine sound to it whatsoever. I can barely hear it over the sound of me. Twenty miles an hour in first gear, forty in second, which means sixty in third. 
All right, that's not gonna happen. The thing about this bike is that it is hilariously small. It's ridiculous, it's a joke. It's got a little, like literally the, the seat ends three inches from my ass. All right, let's get, let's do some gangster leans on this thing, man. You know what, you know what this would be perfect for? Dude, like if I lived in a, in a city like Miami, like if I lived in a, like a really, like big city that was stuck in bumper to bumper traffic all the time and like a, a big strip, oh dude, this thing would kill, man. Just riding up and down, I, what I would do with this, and a lot of people are gonna hate it, but I would lower it a little, all the way, I would stretch the piss out of it, and then I would just cruise up and down like the boulevard or like downtown, wherever, wherever it's like slow speeds, you know, or like, you know, like bike week, wherever that, uh, Daytona. Oh man, I would just rip up and down there just cruising, man. Lowered and stretched. And there's only one way you can ride this bike and that's full open throttle, man. I never recommend people getting a 125 as a starter bike. I'd, I'd prefer people knew how to ride before they ride these because this kind of puts you in dangerous spots. You can't commute daily on the highway with these because they don't go very fast. That's why it's like, if you're using a motorcycle to commute, don't get a Grom or don't, don't get one of these either. These bikes are great putzing around bikes, or you know what they're really cool for is because there's a billion accessories for them that all cost like three cents. They're so cheap and they're so easily easy to modify, and they can be fun in a large group. And that's why the Grom's cool. I, I'm glad I got rid of my Grom. See like this right here? On any bike that's bigger than this, that'd have been fine to pull out on. But no, not on a, not on a little 125. I can't really think of a practical use for these kind of bikes. And that's not the way you should be looking at it, I guess, because these bikes aren't made for practicality, I don't think. At least not here in the States. But, you know, you had people like Jake the Garden Snake buying up the Groms and making them really popular on the internet. And, and a bunch of people bought them because they were they thought they were cool. And that's why that's why I bought mine is because of Jake. I wanted to hoon around on a Grom with him. And when I did do that with Jake, that I had a blast. It's definitely a, a group mentality bike. You know, you have to be riding with other people, I think, to... to uh, nah, I was gonna, I was gonna fuck around and slap his ass, but, <laughs> oh, dude, that's an old Saab 900, holy shit, I, I won't lie, I don't know where I'm at, I mean, it's, it's important to enjoy them for what they are, they're cool little goon bikes, they don't cost a lot to get on the road with, and insurance is super cheap on these things, there's about a million different parts for them out there, if they break, they're easy to repair, and you can modify them to go faster pretty cheap, too. You buy big bore kits for these things. I wonder if the Grom parts are interchangeable with these. That's my question. As if the uh, the Honda Grom, like for instance, like the cylinder head, or the uh, if you want to do like a big bore kit, if that's interchangeable with the Honda Groms, that's what I'd like to find out. I have no int <laughs> I've got no intentions of looking that up, but I'd like for someone who knows in the comments to tell me. Yeah, because I, I just don't feel like doing it, but I believe in you. Bloop. It's got little floppy blinkers. I feel like they're little mini wieners. I wonder if I could take it down the slide. I mean, I could probably just carry it up the steps. These things weigh like five pounds. What I'd like to know is what people who don't ride motorcycles think of this thing. I mean, I know what bikers think. I'm a biker. But people who don't ride bikes, I'd love to know. Oh man, this, this thing is, I'm parked on this hill. It's gonna be a struggle. Oh man. I don't know where I am. I'm definitely gonna stay on the right side of this road to let this Audi pass. I know it's an Audi because he's three inches away from my bumper. <laughs> this thing doesn't have nearly the wheelie power as the Grom did. <laughs> Maybe a different sprocket. Citizens Patrol, aka local narc. Like, what the hell is this thing, dude? Look how tiny it is. Wheelbase, let's see, from front to back. One, two, three, four, five feet. Five feet from wheel to wheel. That's ridiculous. I don't know where I'm at. So I've got this pulled up. Um, this is Locust Street. I think I need to take a left up there. Do I? I don't know where the hell I am. Screw it, we'll find out. A 125cc bike in a dream. Okay, now I think I know where I'm at. I wonder if this thing's even strong enough to do a burnout. I'm gonna pass this truck. Get past! <laughs> They're probably looking at me like, look at this face! 
bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad looking. I think it looks better than the Grom. I just think that the Grom feels a little bit better. If I had to choose between this or a Grom, I would choose this specifically because of the price point. They come at just under $2,000, whereas like a new Grom is what, like $3,900, $3, something like that? And I mean, it seems to accelerate pretty well. I, I'm just not a huge fan of the clutch. That's the only thing that really kind of seems to bother me. And, and the mirrors aren't exactly the best either. Zach was like, yeah, they have six gears. I'm like, no, they do not. This is definitely a definitely a four-speed. No. <laughs> no. I'm not going to slow down. Shut up. This thing can barely speed. I always tend to have fun on smaller bikes because you kind of have to, like, you kind of have to try to have fun on these bikes. Oh, dude. You're about to get freaking past, dude. I would love to see a cop pull me over on this thing, man. And no, this is not the bike I'm giving away for the big giveaway. Lock up the back wheel. <laughs> the front brakes aren't as good as a Grom either. It's hard to pull out stompies. <laughs> All right. You know what I want to do? I want to see if the kickstart works. Let's see how this works. There we go. That's pretty heavy kickstart for such a little bike. I've kicked over, I've kicked over Harleys that weren't that bad.